Welcome to Triple Trouble. This is Jaap, and lately I've been shooting the Fairweather tab. As you can see, this tab fits my finger very well. However, it has a finger spacer and an anchor plate. Since I shoot in a historical bow class, that's not allowed. So what I've done is build my own tab from scratch. I base the design on the Fairweather tab because I see no reason to change it. For this tab I'll be using Fairweather leather, uh, but also wood because I'm a woodworker. This is not a tutorial, more like a build along. Please sit back and relax. I'll be using this thick sturdy piece of leather for the band around my finger. For the plates I'll be using a piece of coromandel. It's beautiful, but also very hard. Son of a bitch. I made a test before, so I can use it this time as a pattern. So I started off with opening my Fairweather pack of leather. And after... And after that... Jeez, okay, use a knife. It's always quicker. So make sure you're using the right side of the ladder so you don't make a left-handed tap by accident. And then grab a pencil and realize a pencil will not work on ladder. So then I simply copied the pattern on the ladder with a pen. I used the same pattern on all three sheets. I used a small pair of scissors that are very sharp but also very precise. For the tight corner in between the fingers, I used the hole punch and the hammer. And Bop! As you can see, this method works flawlessly. As I said before, I will be making the plates out of a piece of wood. The one that you see is a test that I made beforehand. I'll be making two plates because the leather will be sandwiched in between the wood. So here I'm just looking for a nice uh, pattern on the wood to make the plates from. And like before, tracing the pattern that I already made. I used the bandsaw to cut out the rough shape. I'm using a belt sander to clean up the shape. After I got the shape dialed in, I cut the slices for the plates. So after I cut the slices, I still got a piece that is thick enough to cut some extra if needed. The original Fairweather tab is nice and rounded, so I'm just gonna copy that for my own tab. I'm using a piece of double-sided tape to secure the plate on a piece of wood. For easy handling when sanding. As you can see, I've now got a nice handle to work with. Time to get a rough shape with a wood grasp. Alright, so rough shaping is done, so now I'll use the belt center again for fine shaping.
So they're both done now and I'll just do a quick checkup uh, to see if they're not broken or anything. And now I'll just peel them off with a knife. So next step is drawing and cutting some material for the band. I just use a sharp knife and a piece of wood to guide the knife. I thinned out the ends so they bend easily. Next step is to decide where the bend should be on the tab. I use the knock groove as a reference. To decide where the other end of the band will be, uh, I'm shaping the band on the tab. Here I'm measuring the end of the letter and the end of the spacer uh, to have a reference for my other tab. Of course that length is drawn on the wood. So eventually I'll cut it those two spots. Time for coffee. <laughs> Cheers mate. And back to making another handle again. So the reason for uh, the piece of wood this time is because I'm going to drill through it and you won't get any, any splinters on the back side. And also when chiseling uh, it stops the splinters from uh, breaking out on the other side. Just making a small mark for the drill to hold on to so it won't slip off the side of the wood. After drilling, I'm grabbing a sharp chisel to cut the slots. Next step is taking a sip of your coffee. Because the wood is very hard and brittle, I'm uh, doing this very carefully. So the slots are done, time for a test fit. And one of the sides of the band seemed a little wide, so I'm cutting it uh, smaller here. So here, assembling the thing and uh, uh, fitting my finger to see what if it fits. 
So as you can see, it fits already, but I left the leather long uh, so I can adjust it later. After making sure it fits, I can now cut off the extra length I had left. Now it's time to decide why I put the holes for the screws. I'll pretty much eyeball this uh, by looking at the leather in between the plates. Drawing from perpendicular sides uh, I now have across. So looking for some temporary screws that fit and later I'll be going for brass uh, screws. So first I'll drill uh, small holes for the screws to go through. And later I'll be uh, drilling some bigger holes uh, to get the heads from the screws flush with the uh, tab. Uh, to make up for the extra thickness of the band ladder, I'm cutting this out of one of the layers. As always, when making something nice, it's always worth the effort to finish it uh, very nicely. Lastly, for assembly, putting some nice clear varnish on the wood to protect it from the weather. I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, I'll test the tab this weekend and I'll post some pictures on Instagram. So check that out on Triple Trouble Archery. So the question now is, is there anything else you would like to see me build? Uh, please let us know in the comments or send us a message. Thank you, see you next time.